Hello everyone and welcome back to Don 10. Sorry about the small break there. We've got Queen versus Sakazuki here. And we uh, won the die roll, I think, and I, I went decided to go second. Not allowing him to have that gecko on curve is pretty nice. Oh, so we we have a an okay going first play here if we choose to do it we could just pass here but I think the idea is play the Hiori out see what we got at bottom picked up a beige and we put an Amaru on top yep that makes sense So now our opponent is on three Don turn. We know they're not going to do any crazy plays this turn. They might be able to bottom deck the Hiori. Who knows if he wants to go for it. We'll see. We do have the option of a drop Katakuri to put the Hiori back into life to be able to get out of life and then do it again or use his 2k counter. So he goes five, minuses the Hiori. And I'm thinking, do I uh, use this now or do I just... Uh, go for a counter out here but we choose to trigger it and I am gonna tr get rid of the now I should have got rid of the Gion here because I had forgotten that Gion is on my turn so it absolutely does nothing in this match and I play two of them out thinking that it is gonna do something and it doesn't and I was just like okay cool whatever <laughs> I wasted plays but whatever it's cool so I trash an Aramaki and the two uh, Duval, and then we were able to get a life back, which is nice. And then he's going to send a nice six into lead here, which is going to be cool. And I think we can take this one. That's fine. It's a, another Gion, and I'm like, well, I can play the Gion out. Could be good, could be bad, but I think the idea is just. Clear is Tashigi. Play out a Gion because it's really all I can do. I could play out Pudding, but it's like worse than Gion right now because he doesn't have an insane amount of cards in hand. He had like six, I think. So it would have just put him down one and then back up to six on his turn, and I would have had a 4 4 instead of a 4 5. Now in my brain I'm like cool, Gion has some some play in this game and then I'm and then at some point my opponent realizes or points it out to me that it is on my turn and I'm like oh wait, you're right. This that but it's not in the deck against Sakazuki. It's in the deck for Nami and Whitebeard. <laughs> but it's all right. It's all right. We still make okay plays even though we we do that in this game. It's still fine. Sakazuki is always a hard matchup because they just get to bottom deck a bunch of stuff, which is brutal. And they have like 8 cost Gecko, which is crazy. So it goes 6, sweep counter out 7. Then he plays another brand new, and we get to keep the Gion, which is cool. Picks up an Ice Age, and I'm like, oh crap, well. My big bodies aren't long for this world, so I have to find a world where I can get to this Sanji turn, if I can find one. And as you can tell, we're not finding any top deck fodder, like no X Drakes, no Dofies. It's not great. I thought about going with the Gion there, but it's alright. We're, we're just going to go 7, see if he wants to counter out. It's going to require 3 cards. Then we'll just play another Gion and pass. He puts out two 3k bodies, we'll respond with two 4k bodies and hope it's good enough. Because he could just like Luchi me this turn. So, I'm like, well, let's see it. You know, at least maybe he might have to play the Great Eruption and an Ice Age to do it. It's like my hopes. Is that he just doesn't have like a Helmetbo or something in hand. But I think he does here. Oh, he plays out a brand new, then finds the Helmepo. 
And then, oh, he could have that, that new two-cost event, that bottom decks two things. That could be crazy. So, yeah, then he plays Helmet Bow, minusing three to one. Then he can leader minus one with an attack, but he uses greater option. And this is where I thought it would work, and then he points out, no, it's on it's on uh, your turn. And I was like, oh, crap, you're right, you're right. So we were just discussing it here, and he goes, no, it's on your turn, and then I read it, and I'm like, oh, you're right, it is on my turn, I'm dumb, you know, cool, we're all cool, man, <laughs> we're all cool. And he's going to be able to bottom deck both here, which is kind of brutal. He doesn't even need to leader ability if he wants to, but he's going to, obviously, put them both to one, why not? And after this turn, I was like, you know, he doesn't have an insane amount of bodies that are huge in play. But I am scared now, because he does have stuff like Houndblaze, and he could just pump these brand news to be able to get in here. And I don't got much going on in hand. So I decide to take, and we find Asanji, and I'm like, oh, thank God. Okay, so I can go Aramaki and Asanji and feel okay. Because now I just like have to play this Aramaki this turn and hope to God he doesn't deal with it. I know he's got the great eruption. But the only other option is not great. So I'm like, I have to play this Aramaki. And like maybe not even swing lead. But we decide to swing lead anyway, which is fine. I'm not excited about it, but it's okay. It's going to at least... Make him think, okay, do I want to take this life or use a card? And he uses a Borsalino because he does play Gecko Moria. So he can just instantly get that Borsalino back if he needs to. And we do pitch the pudding to bottom deck the Helmeppo so that he can't get value out of that later. Since he was, I believe that's his only one because he had to search for that one. So that it, it, in my brain, I'm like, okay, he's only got the one. There's none in his trash there. And I just bottom deck the only one. Unless he's holding one in hand to counter out with. He probably would have done that already. You know, maybe he wouldn't have used the Borsalino. He would have used the Helmeppo to counter out out of hand. So now he has to just get a semi-value. So he can just go like... Oh, he's going to go Rebecca and Tashigi, I believe. And then Rebecca's going to buy back something... So he's going to do the Tashigi first, and then he's going to resolve the Rebecca. And, like, I'm thinking to myself, we're not in a great spot. We're really not. Because I only got three cards in hand. I do have two life and an Aramaki. And I am going to start doing my thing now. Like, I really am if I play this out properly. Because I just have to counter out of an attack. But he chooses not to attack with leader, which was a little sketch. Well, no, it's not sketch. That's not That's not true. It's not sketch. He knew what he was doing. So we slam down the Sanji, and I hope to God we flip, and we hit it a Gion, which is fine. It's a fine. And then I'm going to go six into the Hina, I believe. which would make uh, the sense. Now, I don't get to heal, unfortunately. So no heal effect or draw effect. Very sad. I'm at three cards. There are three beiges, by the way. <laughs> three beige. Which means none of them are in my life because I do have one in trash that I already used to counter out earlier in the game. So we know beige is not happening. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm like, oh man, I got no beige left to throw in life. I need to find a Hiori and maybe we can cook something up. But I'm actually shooting blind here, which means I have no freaking idea what's on the top of my deck because I have seen zero top deck fodder outside of that Duvall that I knew was going to be bad. I almost don't ever want to play Duvall in this match because they just easy pickings on that thing. I'd rather make them work for the KO on the blocker that stacks. Like, even Dofi, they have to at least leader ability with it, you know, so they do have to do some things, and that gives me outs to blocking with it. So he minuses one and swings seven. 
I'm like, you know what? Screw it. He could probably get rid of this thing, so I'm just going to block with it. Ice Age is it. Then bottom decks it, I'm pretty sure. Or, yep, uses Helm Blaze, puts it on the brand new. Now brand new swinging for seven. That's pretty good. And I'm like, do I counter out? Do I not counter out? I need to start doing my leader ability next turn. He's going to have a uh, Gecko Moria swing here. So I do have to be careful. So I don't want to go too low. And he still can swing the Hina as well. So I'm going to go nine out here. Because he's got lots of options still to swing. Like he can go five with brand new, six with brand new. You know, he goes five. I counter out. He goes five, we take, and then we bottom deck the Rebecca with the Gravity Blade. Added two of those to the deck, Connor, by the way. Card's been super solid tonight. This <laughs> card was insane. So now I'm feeling kind of okay, not great, but we find another Sanji. Like, I'm actually feeling really bad here. Like, if we go... Oh, Yamato. Nice. Nice. So we can pop the... So I'm going to go 5 into the brand new. 5 into a brand new. Or 6 into a brand new. And I can heal, which is cool. And because we're healing 2 this turn, since we top deck the Yamato, we didn't really care which order it was, because now I could have popped a 4 cost just in case. And then I'm going to send 9 into life instead of into the gecko. Because I don't really care. Like, I know he could just easily counter out of that one. And now we're looking okay again. Because now we're not instantly dead. You know, he can potentially put me to zero. But we're not instantly dead. If we healed anything good off the top of life, we're actually really solid. So we'll have to see because everything we're healing right now is blind. We don't know what's going, what's on top of the deck, which really sucks. And my opponent being one of the best soccer players that's in the current local meta, it's always just a grind against him no matter what. Because mad respect to the homie sitting across from me. But we're like, okay... If he doesn't respond with a crazy board wipe here, we're f actually feeling okay to the point where we might be able to go for game next turn unless he like blockers up to all hell this turn. Like he could go Borsalino into Sabo and that wouldn't be terrible. But if he does that, then he's only swinging for nine and six, which we might be able to just take the six like, he might think we have a 2k in hand, and if we do, then we get out of the 6. Then he swings 9, and we take it. But more than likely, I'm just going to go to 0, and then play Sanji into something else. What I'm hoping for is that one of our life is a Bej, and he goes 5 in the life. And we think about it for a second to make him think that we have something, and we take it. And I'm like, okay, I need to think about triggers here. And it's not a trigger. So now he invests three to Hina to minus here. Then uses two to play Helmepo to minus three there. So now it's minus seven. Our Yamato is minus seven, so it's two. And then he's thinking about potentially great eruption there, but then chooses to go 11 into the Sanji and we counter out with our zero cost event with and the Sanji to make it 12. And now he's stuck with two Don, so I know that if he has a great eruption, he won't be able to use the bottom deck event. Which is kind of good because he could have great eruptioned the Gion and put me out of two attackers, and then event then I'm not winning. And then um he could have bottom decked both those characters, and I would have been in a really bad spot. So I think if he would have swung 10 at the Sanji, that would have potentially 
like still got those cards out of my hand, but then he would have bottom decked two cards here. And that left me with two attackers, and like I'm not winning on the following turn potentially. Because now he's at like maybe what, two or three cards in hand, and I have two life to get through, no blockers. So there's like a world I can just go for game here if I do my math right. And we, we top deck a Katakuri, which was like, okay, whoa, hold on. I can put Hina or Gekko Moria into life here, but that's not going to get me the game. And I'm like, well, it's at a point now my opponent's a really good player. I have to just go 9, 10, 11 and hope it gets me, or 9, 10, 10 and get, hope it gets me there. And then we send 10, and we're supposed to heal here, but he's only able to get up to 10, and that's the game. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Smash that join button, smash that sub button, hit a like, leave a comment. We'll see you guys next time.